Hello, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss about strategic analysis of operating income. Okay, what is the requirement in first question for test your knowledge question? So, calculate manufacturing efficiency. That is, manufacturing efficiency means processing time divided by total production time. What is the total production time? We will take that and interpret the results. Okay, we will interpret the results. Next, state what percentage of production time he spent in non value added activity. Non value added activity means which is the activity. Which is not add value to your activity. This is known as non-value added activity. It will become from it is a total. What is the non-value added activities? What is the non-value added activities? Maybe it's inspection times, wasting time, moving time, etc., etc. And we will take that all times. And what is the value added time? We will see that after that we will see the comparison and we will divide the we will get the percentage next to calculate the delivery cycle time delivery cycle time means total time whatever he had taken total cycle time will be total cycle time next to calculate the new mca by using lean production all q time will be reduced so they provided the q time four days per batch <coughs> four days per batch we will deduct them the, uh, we will they eliminate that uh, four days and we will calculate new MCE that is manufacturing cycle efficiency okay <coughs> here what they provided the one company he is there and it is a designing and automotive company and it has the customers complain that they have had to wait a for long after placing order W he is interested in cutting the amount time between the customer place in order when order is completed for the last year they provide the information inspection time they provided the inspection time this is non value added activity and processing time it is value added activity time and next waiting time it is non value added tag non value added next q time it is time it is also a non value added and move time it is non value so total we have provided one value added that is 2.8 and remaining all non value added activities so for this we will calculate the answer and after that we will give the uh, information we will give the information what is required okay sorry okay we will see the answer and we will provide the answer here itself manufacturing cycle time means what we have taken in processing time divided by all times what is the total production time is there no that total production time will be taking so processing time that is value added activity divided by total production time total production time includes value added time the inspection time plus process time plus queue time plus move it move time plus wait time so 2.8 days divided by 0 0.5 days 2.8 4 and 0 0.7 6 days 16 days so 11.67 is manufacturing efficiency it is here efficiency means 11.67 is efficiency means remaining what amount uh, 100 minus 11.67 it is here non-efficiency it will go for non-value added activity percentage of time spent on non value added activity so they provide the interpretation there in akj the mce that is manufacturing cycle time efficiency is 11.67 which means 88 88.33 units is the process spent on the activity that do not add value to the product so we are spending more non value added activity next up, this is monitoring the mce that is when we see the manufacturing cycle efficiency helps company to reduce non value added activity so we have seen this and we identify that 88 percent we are spending on non value added activity so then company will help the to reduce this non value added activities and that get into hands customer more quickly and at a lower cost next percentage of time spent on non value added activity means 100 minus 11.67 that is 11.67 is value added that is manufacturing cycle efficiency next delivery time means whatever the times they have provided simply added simply added that is 0 0.5 2.8 days plus 4 days and 0 0.7 days and 16 days this is total production time will be taken total production will time will be taken next revise the mca for ready uh, for eliminating this uh, q e q re reducing the q Q time reducing the Q time that is Q time is there for four 
q time is uh, 4 is there for this q time will be eliminated here so that we will get that revised mca was 14 percent old mca was we have old mca 11.67 now it was 14 percent so we are efficiently working for 14 percent means 86 percent non-efficient next alternatively they are provided alternative way we do not want any alternative way we are calculated completely properly next second question what is there in second question in second question they provide that first we see the requirement first we see the requirement what is the requirement comment on whether income from operations for two divisions accurately measure performance so we will uh, see the question and we will comment on incomes operations which is correct or not next prepare the divisional income statement using activity based provided above in the revised service department charges so we require to provide activity based so activity based means we will use the activities cost drivers we will use for cost drivers to produce the income statement okay identified so now we will see the question they provided that abc airlines has two divisions organized in profit center so it is a profit center that the passenger division and cargo division so <coughs> passenger division passenger division and cargo division the following division information were given for the year so they are telling that the two airlines are profit centers profit centers okay next what they provided particular cargo division passengers and total number of persons personal trained was 200 800 so in cargo 200 was training passengers division was 800 training so okay number of flights 350 250 so flights were 250 250 350 350 number of reservation requested here for cargo there is no request in cargo there is no request so it is a nil next in passenger division they have 7000 so we will get the income when the uh, when the seat was re, uh, seat was reserved in cargo they are not uh, they have not have any uh, reservations uh, reservations so only the passenger division he is serving the reservations okay and here what they have provided revenue was 42 lakhs 42 lakhs they have both total income next the operating incomes have excluding services department charges excluding service department charges which is provided below okay 36 lakhs 28 lakhs 50,000 total okay next what is the service department charges training 3 lakhs 20 3 lakhs 20 so they are providing the cost in equal basis but their uh, their revenue also same and they are providing training departments for same but the persons trained is only this 200 year 800 year providing for 800 3 lakh 20 year charging 200 persons also 3 lakh 20 it is not a character and freight scheduling 1 lakh 50 1 lakh 50 here also the freight scheduling is uh, cost is charging equally but the number of flights was different number of flights was different next reservations reservation 1 lakh 5000 year charging 1 lakh 5000 year charging but reservation for there is no reservation for cargo so why they are charging for cargo it is wrong it is wrong 1 lakh 5000 is wrong we will charge only the amount to the um, that uh, passenger division passenger division that total two lakh ten thousand will be charged to passenger division and flight scheduling whatever the amount is there no three lakhs three lakhs will be charged based on this flights based on this flights that is three lakhs into 350 divided by 600 and this uh, training was charged based on this this amount so this is correct they are charging wrong so first question what we have asked comment comment on income statement it is a wrong calculation it is a not accurately providing first question answer and second question answer was already provided now it is we will calculate the correct revenue we will take the 42 lakhs and 32 lakhs uh, 28,050 and gross margin we will get and after gross margin we will divide the apportionment this uh, expenditures uh, based on this we will use and after that we will get uh, next uh, we will see the answer now we will see the answer now okay what is the answer for second question no question number two 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फर्स्ट वन आंसर वाज प्रोवाइडेड दैट प्रोवाइडेड दैट द ऑपरेशन डज नॉट एक्यूरेटली मेजर्स परफॉर्मेंस बिकॉज द सर्विस डिपार्टमेंट चार्जेस आर बेस्ड ऑन रेवेन्यू सो सर्विस डिपार्टमेंट चार्जेस आर बेस्ड ऑन रेवेन्यू रेवेन्यू ही इज नॉट एसोसिएटेड विथ प्रॉफिट सेंटर्स यूज ऑफ सर्विस डिपार्टमेंट सर्विसेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल रिजर्वेशन डिपार्टमेंट सर्विस ओनली only for passenger division but number of reservation requested by cargo division was nil but they are charging the expenditure it is not a correct yaar it is not a correct when the, you are not providing the service how can you charge the expenditure it is wrong next thus by charging this cost on revenue the cost is incorrect so it is incorrect charge to the cargo division so for the passenger division requires additional personnel so, so they have more personal training for passenger division but cost is same since the personnel must be trained and training cost assigned to passenger division should be greater than the cargo so we will calculate proper correct income statement now okay after that we will calculate this year so first we will see abc line line division income statement for the year end 31st of march 2021 so particular cargo division passenger division total <coughs> okay <coughs> we will take the revenue as it is name and after that operating expenses we will take and operating expenses after we will get the gross margin after that less we will take service department what they had charged is equally for our but we will charge it based on their activity <coughs> based on their activity we will take the total 6 lakhs 40 and 6 lakhs 40 divided by uh, into 200 and total persons was training persons was 100 we will take how many members is there in uh, this uh, cargo and how many members training in passenger we will take accordingly flight scheduling and reservation will be charged only to the flight because we do not have any reservation in cargo we will get the correct operating income this is 8 lakhs this is the answer was they provided next question number 3 what is there in question number 3 in question number 3 they will ask that first we will see the fifth question number 3 no we will see the requirement requirement was give the financial analysis of decision strategy we require to give the financial analysis of decision strategy which xyz may implement about the manufacture of each product using the unit cost information available so they provided some unit costs and based on that unit cost we require to provide the decision strategy implement or not and discuss whether the activity based management should be adapted in companies like xyz activity based management means we use the cost drivers for calculating the incomes and expenditures and percentages so after the calculation we will see the both contribution whichever is good they will adapt that if you in abm ebm we will find based on cost drivers we will include the cost drivers that is if the abm is provide good one they will go for abm only and cost normal cost if you take the normal cost it will provide wrong information okay next they provided that what is there in question in question sorry in question they provide that xyz ornamental company counts for a quality service it has been designed one company he is there and it achieved through years of experience integrity maintained employees okay it is approached to xyz xyz to make inquiry of two products it has two products it has two products what is that product the star and one is draft for garden mr bob bob the management accountant of xyz has estimated variable cost so variable cost will be for star it was 622.5 and 103.75 so for variable cost where will you to utilize for this variable cost for sales minus variable cost we will get the contribution we will get the contribution okay for this okay next what they provided product data they were providing product data they are providing production or sales units so the star was sold 10000 units draft was sold 20000 units other products was 80000 but we required only the data of star only the data of star and draft because because they asked for question that one only because see question what is there in question provide the implement of each product what are the product the products are these two products draft and stars stars and drafts so we will calculate 
for this two products for that two products we will calculate the normal current normal scenario and abc basis okay total domestic uh, total direct material cost 22,50 7,50 so 22,50 divided by 10,000 we will get cost per unit and 7,50 divided by 20,000 we will get the cost per unit so uh, in cost per unit material cost will be 225 rupees for star next uh, total variable overheads for xyz is 120 lakhs 120 lakhs was provided out of this 30 percent being to the procurement procurement of warehousing and used direct, ma direct material so while all other are so 1 lakh 20 into 30 percent will be overhead cost and remaining will be remaining will be other cost as well. remaining will be other cost as well. <coughs> that is remaining will be uh, labor related overhead cost direct material 30 percent 30 percent means 1 lakh 20 into 30 percent it will become 36 lakhs 36 lakhs so 36 lakhs and we will calculate here 10,000 and 20,000 80,000 product is there no for that product so what is the required amount we will calculate required per unit we will calculate and total value we will get and the total value will be allocated to this amount so next 36 lakhs will be overhead cost and next uh, labor cost will be 70 percent 1 lakh 20 into 70 percent will be 84 lakhs will be overhead cost of labor related next question next point x y z x y z allocates variable overheads into products into using use using percentage using percentage of total direct material cost and total labor cost so we are divided that like only 1 lakh 20 into 30 percent will be oh, material related and 1 lakh 20 into 70 percent will be related to labor related okay vgg is willing to purchase this star is 740 so he is purchasing at 740 rupees and draft at 151 rupees this is they provided the selling cost this is they provided the selling cost for uh, k that uh, selling price will be 740 and 151 okay and selling units was already provided next now we will get the xyz will not accept the any work yielding an estimated contribution to sales ratio less than 28 if the contribution is less than 28 percent xyz will not accept the project yield next the directors of xyz are considering switching to an abc costing and recently appointed the manager so they want from normal scenario to ab abc analysis as a result of this that the review consultant concluded that estimated relevant cost drivers so we require for cost drivers for abc calculation a abc analysis and in abc analysis we will use the cost drivers so that it provides correct information based on that correct information we will take the decision okay direct material over its material ratio material ratio was 585 for material ratio they have provided 585 and we got the overhead cost where we got the overhead cost that above is there no 30 percent was the overhead cost related to material so this will be useful for there and next labor operations and labor operations 765 and labor operations are overhead cost also we are got 1 lakh 20 into 70 percent that is 84 lakhs is it we will allocate this amounts based on that and we will get the quantity next what is the information they provide so required to calculate the answer okay we will calculate the answer and we will see provide the decision also we will provide the decision also for question number three what is there in question number three first analysis will be first analysis will be what is there the product cost per unit along with respective contribution per unit may be calculated either either by abc approach or alternative by using existing basis so they have two options for calculation here okay for the current scenario of product costing suggests that draft because draft how more contribution draft how more contribution how we got the draft how more contribution because we see the uh, schedule for sales we we calculated the sales and for that year we see that uh, year selling price was provided and 740 for current scenario we will see selling price and oh, variable cost was provided 622.5 and 103.75 in case of drafts so we will get the current scenario 15.88 in case of in case of uh, stars and 
31.29 in case of draft so whenever you have uh, less than they provided that uh, amount um, ratio 78 percent uh, 28 percent if you have a 28 percent they will not accept so contribution gives of star was star was 15.82 so we will not accept this uh, in current scenario where draft has 31.29 so it has more than 28 percent so we will uh, they take that uh, contribution and we will calculate adjust that and this is the answer so sorry for first point we will have contribution for in a case of in case of uh, draft 31.29 however in product costing also suggest that xyz do not undertake production of star they will not take product or star because why the reason they have only 15.8 which is lower than the desired their desired was 28% 28% was their desired but they are producing only 15.8 it is not required to calculate like that next we, when we will go for abc that is activity based means they will use the cost to divert based on that cost to divert we will get the different answer how they calculate the base one cost to divers and we will get the contributions differently in case of star we will get 32 1.87 and in case of draft we will get the negative draw contribution so then we will go for uh, stars then we will go for star then we will decide based on abc only because activity based costing use the most appropriate method for using all cost to divers and now we will calculate the contribution in case of uh, abc how we calculated the abc so for that we will see the schedule we will see the schedule first we have calculated this amount so direct material that is total cost was provided and that production units was provided 10,000 10,000 cost per unit we will get the 2225 37.25 and direct labor cost we have calculated this also in question only total cost this is 15 lakhs and 5 lakhs production units will be provided 10 lakhs 20,000 and cost per units was provided next variable overhead which we are discussed that 30 percent will be overhead cost and the remaining will be labor cost for 70 percent that is 120 into 30 percent 36 lakhs and we have units for total units for total units and required per unit we have cost driver they are provided in question only 585 five. cost providers we will take and for that units was provided 10,000 20,000 8,000 so we will get the total value from total value we will get the cost per unit that is overhead cost per unit that is this 36 lakhs divided by 6 lakhs 10,000 we will get the cost per unit then we will apportion this 5 5.9 in for three items that uh, stars and um, this uh, draft we, we require to calculate in this to have only so 5 8 5.9 29.5 and 47.2 so this will use for contribution calculations next labor cost same 70 percent will be calculated and 80 84 lakhs 84 lakhs divided by what is the total value 5 lakh 90 we will take the 5 lakh 90 and we will get the cost per unit and for this cost per unit we will take that uh, starts and draft will be allocated and after this allocation we will seek the, we will use that contribution and production information what is there in production information so we have calculated about the direct material and direct labor and uh, uh, material related we, we were, this was calculated here this was calculated material labor here 15 in case of uh, scenario in case of 90 and we will calculate 26.5 and in case of 157.5 so we will calculate it as per uh, abc analysis and it, this is given information this is given information directly we will divide it 22 22,50,000 divided by 10,000 that is direct information and we have calculated this information and we will get the total variable cost and now we will we will see the answer here here star was positive draft was negative draft was negative when user cost divers draft we get negative that only we are discussing the in second point what we had discussed in second point that uh, we are getting the negative contribution in case of draft so in positive for stars next the now the company was now, now company he is up to produce the star because the desired result was desired was 28 percent so 28 percent it has reached by the star only next third question that abc uh, abc 
ABM, the activity based management accepted or not, accepted or not. Here, AB activity based management is used to design cost management, describe the cost management. Application of ABC, application of ABC, that is activity based activity based activity based next here the use of abc is a controlling tool it is manage the cost at activity level is known as activity based cost management this is a tool it will manage the cost it will manage the cost and abm is a discipline first one it is a tool what is the tool it will manage the cost it will manage the cost and it will focus it will focus on both efficient and effective management efficient and effective management of activities as a route to continuously improving the value received by the company after that it will improve so it will manage and it will focus and it will uh, improve it will improve so this is the information what it is improve improve strategic and operational decisions in the organization and where is the one person kalpan and copper divided abm into two types that is one operational and strategic so so abc is a tool for managing the cost at activity level and second one is f it focus on efficient and effective management and continuously improve improve in strategic and operational this strategic and operational was divided in abm whose the kalpan and copper was divided the kalpan and copper says, says that what is their what is the operational ABM covers? It is increased efficiency and lower cost. It will increase the, your efficiency and reduce your cost. Reduce your cost and leads higher revenue. So we will get the higher efi higher efficiency, low cost and higher revenue. Higher revenue so that better resources are utilization. Better resources are utilization and the action required to do e things right. In other words, it is all about doing the right thing so what is meant by operational abm means doing the things right when strategy comes doing the right things strategy means doing the right things you must do the right things only you must do the right things only you cannot deviate you cannot deviate that is strategic and operational means do things the right way do the things in right way and for example if you are studying you should study in a right way you should write in a right way and for studying, you should take the right thing that is taking the proper classes and taking the right notes and taking the that information. So using ABC information for ABM, it can use the ABC information activity based cost information will be used to improve efficiency. It also helps in identifying and improving value added activities. So for value added activities, it is improve your value added activity and reduce your non value added activities to reduce cost without distracting the product value next strategic abm means doing right things operation means doing the things right and strategic means doing the right things it uses abc information to determine which products is to be manufactured and which activities to be used it tells that it explains that which activities to be used and which activities to be manufactured in strategically they will explain and xyz can also use this for customer profitability analysis which will use it for customer profitability analysis in customer profitability analysis we will know the person who is the correct customer who is most profitable customer and focusing on the them more next is the risk risk abm he that some activities have an implicit value are not reflected or are not reflected what is the risk they will not reflect some financial value added to any product they will not add any value added activity directly directly they will not add any value to the financial act product for example good and pleasant working environment can attract and retain the best human resources but might not be identified as a value added activity in operational ABM. If you are working is good, if you uh, add the cost to your uh, product, then the customers will not come. Only the they will see the cost product only. After that, ABM provides managers understanding their cost and helps teams to make certain decisions. It will benefit for whole organization, not for own just one activity. Therefore, some companies like XYZ may adapt may adapt to improve their operations and obtain useful activity. Useful activity. This is question number three. Next to question number four. What is there in question number four? In question number four, they will explain that. <coughs> question number four. 
first uh, we will see the what is the requirement what is the requirement here analyze customer profitability for gsm in this is customer profitability we seen in last question only why in abm we will calculate the customer base and for that customer base who is the benefit who is providing the more profit we will um, we will retain the customers we will connect continuity with this customer so we required for profit of customer profitability statement so we need to require to prepare customer profitability statement and analyze next explain three fundamental aspects of crm what is the uh, this uh, crm uh, fundamental aspects we we need to provide three crms three c uh, uh, three items three items okay later on that later on that for we provide the first customer profitability statement customer profitability statement firstly firstly what is the question was provided what is the question was provided we will see this for that they provided that jawahar smart mart jawahar smart mart okay for this jawahar smart mart they provided the located in city located in city x and popular wide range popular wide range of stationary product okay and for this and for this what they providing and x wide jsm and jsm clients majorly includes medium large and corporate affords reasonable basis of retail clients so they have retail retail clients okay next ronit who done the is master in operation marketing recently joins family business and ronit first week itself identified this regular complaints for regular complaints what is their regular complaints regular complaints corporate clients are dealing delivery of time so as many persons are complaining on delivery time next uh, different from what he is order and not for meeting the requirements so if you are ordering one item and they are sending another item this is a time waste items time waste time next uh, mr rohit understand the customer behavior he is very crucial in nature it if understand well and use through out the business operation so they can be success factor so we need to analyze and what is the problem is going there and we for that we will provide the solution okay next key factors and ends with the intent to establish integrated relationship with customer jsm mr advise advise marketing team to start recording the date date regarding customers in systematic manner are reporting the same so he is asking the information customers information next following information regarding five major customers so it has five major customers so we will calculate the customer wise so particulars and revealing information a b c d and for that they are provided the information number of units sold 6000 8000 10000 7000 8000 so margin per unit will be 6 6 rupees 7.57810 so for highest customer will be highest customer will be c and we are getting margin was 7 rupees and lowest customer was uh, a and we will getting a 6 rupees only but where the d he is providing 7000 d e is providing more margin for has so e, e is providing more margin and our uh, large volume is purchasing c but we are getting more margin from e next uh, number of purchase orders uh, number of purchase order 10 30 25 20 30 so b he is ordering more b is ordering more so here cost will be increased b and c have more b c d they have more uh, ordering but their margin was less than the e less than the e e is more margin and e is ordering less next number of deliveries 3 4 6 4 5 and c is the more purchasing more but the he is ordering deliveries was more and the here the cost will be increased purchase order cost will be increased delivery cost will be delivery cost will be increased and kilometer per delivery and e is kilometers was 50 kilometers and highest cost highest distance was the d is there and e is the the e is having nearly nearby only nearby only and now we will see that customer Uh, cost of processing the order cost of processing the order is 2000 so for order they are provided for this will be used for cost driver and cost of handling material 0.5 that is handling material delivery sir and where has transport cost is 3 rupees for drivers so for delivery for delivery 
it was 0 0.5 per item and transportation cost it was 3 rupees per unit for delivery and 3 rush deliveries made be cost of rush delivery is 800 so e the rush delivery delivery for 800 rupees will charge for b b is provided this is the question was they provided and we will calculate the customer statement uh, customer profitability statement for individually and what are the drivers they provided we will use that and add this and we will provide the answer accordingly so question number five three question number four okay for this question number three they provided the margin that is six thousand uh, they provided c first they provided the units and we will add the margins they provided both units and margins so here the margin was who is providing e is margin e is margin is high which we are discussed in question and where the value is high in c case next cost of processing purchase orders for orders we use the order uh, delivers and cost so for this orders was who is ordering more this three persons is ordering more from but we are getting more margin from e next to product a product uh, handling cost is handling cost is less in case of a and remaining her normally next delivery cost will be delivery cost will be and here delivery C is taking these two persons more b and c and in case of rush delivery for b we will add uh, they take this so these are our total cost and we will get the profit or loss 17 000, 14 200 in case of b it was 5 20 last and 17,300 in case of C and we have more profit in E case and where has year value is high but we are profit is so much less and we will focus on E mainly and we will see the what is the uh, investigation will be done for B why it is getting loss and here we will see from the above it is can be concluded that the customer a c and d are less profitable less profitable than e customer e is more profitable d a c d are less profitable and b is losing losses and customer b provides a positive operating margin where they provided the positive operating margins 60000 but but at at the end at the end we are got the because of attributable customer attributable cost are considered the the b requires more sales orders other than cost other than other customers so he is taking more deliveries that way he is incurring more delivery cost for that we are getting loss from that customers and this analysis can make sense if interpreted considering the Pareto analysis what is this Pareto analysis 80 is to 20 80 is to 20 we will see what is the uh, information and which specifies 80 percent of consequences come from 20 percent of causes 20 percent was causes that is the reason and 80 percent was the least consequences 20 percent of customers provide 80 percent of profit in some cases where here mean input and output may not be balanced they are not balanced in the curve of revenue curve of revenue as shown figures represent that initially large amount of revenue comes from small portion so here they provided the this is the uh, revenue curve and from small portion of sales customers only such small portion of customers is critical to success of entity next here also here proportion of 80 is to 20 do not true do not truth but for gsm major portion of profits around 60 percent we are getting from e only 60 percent of profit and critical to gsm and special attention can be take, given to enhancing the relationship so we will maintain the good relationship with e and e cannot migrate to other competitors in addition greater emphasis can be given to attract new customers that have same attributes of profitable most profitable customer e so e is provided more benefit to ours further there is no point in serving customer b but instead of refusing to trade with customer b so here b is b is a loss making customer but we no point in serving customer and refusing to trade with customer b if possible so we will not uh, 
uh, avoid that person and we will convert that it may be better to turn into profitable customer profitable customer customer b can be made profitable when if actions was taken to convince the customer b to place a small number of large quantity orders to avoid the delivery cost to avoid the rush deliveries so if we order for large quantity we will send at a time and they will save the delivery cost time frame if customer b cannot be convinced to change its buying behavior selling price should be increased to cover the extra resources consumed what are the extra resources we are consumed we will charge it accordingly and after that supply chain management is a technique to integrate the supplier manufacturing stores and distribution functions and places respectively what is this that they are asked for ti three uh, three fundamentals for crm is there no that is related to this that is supply chain management is a technique to integrate what is they integrate supplier manufacture store distribution function effici- efficiently and in order to procure in order to procure produce distribute at in a right time quantity and place respective for effective distribution for effective distribution crm can be enabled to for distribution purpose crm will be improved crm is integrated approach to manage and coordinate customers interaction for why to identify and acquire and retaining the customers for identifying acquiring and retaining the customers crm enables business to understand and retain customers understand and retain customers through better customer experience apart from attracting new customers it is in order to increase profitability and decrease customer management cost so what we are do the crm will do identify and acquiring retaining customers and not only that we re- increase decrease our management cost next the crm system compromises following three fundamental aspects it has three fundamental aspects what it have three fundamental activities one is operative crm another one is analytical crm and third one is collaborative crm crm customer relationship management here operative crm means here take the individual individual transactions so it will individual transaction if for example if you see the overall customers was 10% and if you attra- uh, attra- uh, if you take the attraction with the individual customers you will get that 10 answer if you post in your overall way and if you ask out for overall answer they will not get the interaction with you when we want to grow we will go for individually individual transactions and is used by operational team interaction by customers are kept in database and used later by services sales and marketing team for operational decisions in jsm the staff who is responsible to deal with customers must be give access to customer details including all information of activities performed earlier so that the case he is asking for information the person is asking for information this will enhance jsm staff efficiency to deal with customer facing process in better way if you know the person who is getting from last who is getting profit in our case b is getting margin is good but in case of overall we will see it is getting from loss because of delivery cost that if when you see the individual transaction then only we know that what is going the right things or wrong things next we will analyze the data next analyze is the data created on operational side of crm effort for evaluation and predictions of customer behavior so what are the efforts and what is the behavior of customer we will identify here in jsm analytical crm can highlight the pattern in customer behavior which will help the sales team while pitching the product at jsm so in our case b was person who is delivering the we is taking more deliveries so we will predict the customer behavior if he accept the uh what we are telling take the large quantity in a short term then you will get the benefit if we we know the customer behavior if we are accepted then we will go accordingly if our, we know customer is not accepted that customer behavior is not accepted then we will increase our sale price that is the analytical crm here customer behavior is main and customer behavior will help sale team while pitching the product at jsm next to collaborative crm collaborative crm ensure that information about customers must flow seamlessly so whoever require the information they will get the information supply chain majorly 
distribution channels in form of collaborative efforts by all associated departments of JSM to increase the quality of services provided to customers. Increase in utility at customer's end will result in increased loyalty, collaborative CRM compromises, interactive technology. So CRM compromises, interactive technology like mails, we will get the mails and we will get the feedbacks, digital media to simplify the communication between customers and staff which help the building relationship this is question number four next we will go for question number five what is there in question number five question number five five come on come on come on yeah mm, provided we will see the first what is the requirement for we require complete the customer level operating income and profitability for each customer which we require uh, customer profitability statement okay what is the information question provided? A Anka Limited has decided to analyze the profitability of four retail customers. So it has four retail customers and it buys the product Bioco at 218 rupees. So it is buying at 218 rupees. It is the uh, buying means a variable cost element and sells them at list price. Sorry, list price less discount. So they are selling at sell less discounts next what is they provided the information number of cases sold 7580 and listing sell pre selling price will be 250 and actual selling price will be 245 so 250 minus 245 there is 5 rupees discount they are providing 5 rupees discount okay good information for this we are got the uh, discount what is the discount is providing for that discount we will calculate the percentage of discount and who is getting more discount and who is getting less discount we will calculate accordingly and for that we will know the information who is the person having more sales getting the discounts or not next say number of sorry mm, number of selling price uh, and number of sales which is so come sale which is for 16 6 12 16 10 16 12 10 for this for this what is the uh, cost we will see the visible uh, they provided near only see number of widgets here, sale widgets we will use the cost to divert and we will multiply it 16 into 750 12 into 750 16 into 750 10 into 750 next purchase number of purchase order so 12 so we have order taking so order taking so 12 into 800 18 into 800 35 into 800 24 into 800 next delivery cost per kilometer was provided so here they provided the this cost driver so 10.5 10.5 into 280 10.5 into 350 4, 5, 450 into 10.5 400 into 10.5 we'll get the almost next product handling cost so for all cases they have provided the product ordering cost so for 2.5 for which cost driver will be taking this cost will be taking sorry this one Pro they 75780 into 2.5 38,350 into 2.5 78,520 into 2.5 55,516 into 2.5 for this we will get the customer profitability statement so list price was 250 and 245 and 5 rupees was discount and we, we have 218 is variable cost from that we will get the contribution for that we contribution after we will get the this all overheads will be detected and we will get the profit for customer and profit for customer we will take the profit for cases and who is the profit providing more profit that is the customer we will see and who is getting the more discount we will see and for this variable cost is this variable cost is who is incurring more and who is providing the best benefit that will be see next answer was another was see let's see the answer question number five Question number 5. What is there in question number 5? Answer was uh, 4. Answer 5. Let's see. See what we discussed. They are provided. So, sales, sales. We will take the quantity, 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 quantity. And after that, list price was provided 250, 250, 250. For discount, will they provided the discount. Uh, this information was provided. For this information, we will get the, this balancing figure and we will calculate the percentage. We will calculate the percentage. That is 250 into 2%. 250 into 2%. 5 by 250 we will get the 2% only. And after that, this who is getting more, um, who is getting more percentage? Here, 8.5 is the getting more percentage. Who is getting more percentage? 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 Who is getting more
discount why it has maybe reason was he is purchasing more sales more sales 78520 because of the 78520 they may get more discount so they one reason maybe it is maybe reason and who is the less person this is if this person is less turnover because of that he is getting less discount so okay next who is get who, from adding the selling profit and we will get the cost total cost so we, this is all cost which are here we will see this contribution was getting for contribution who is the highest contribution here this c person is highest contribution so he has more volume and he is getting more discounts and he from here total contribution was 785000 he is contributing 785000 okay after the individual expenditure after the car drivers use the cost for that person then we will decide he is providing more benefit or not for the company now we will see the this expenditure was allocated to all already allocated next now we will get the profit here the profit was profit was who is providing more profit uh, 567000 so here we will get 567000 with providing the b even though c is uh, who is providing more volumes say c is uh, sell c sell is more but we are getting profit from b profit from b and next uh, who is have less profit this is this person is less profit because it have here how it person have less value less value and as compared to this one a is better than e c d because here d have d have 15560 but a have 7580 even though he has he is getting more profit more profit that is 11.8 10.37 in case of e so we will discuss the whatever we have write the answer we will discuss now so giving going by value case if you go for value case c is the biggest customer which is accounting for 56 percentage and sales volume followed by the customer b is next and we will discuss first to value based who is the highest next case next case next case next after that however from profit we profit we are getting from mr b more profitable person who is providing 39.72 and cumulative profits was 14,28,350 next customer c contributes only 38.10 same customer comparing comparing customer b and c customer b is more profitable despite accounting for sale value if you see the sale value c is better but if you see the overall profit at the end of profit will be b is the best okay next here the primary reason what is the reason for low because of he is purchasing more volume he is getting more discounts so that is the problem discount given to customer he is 8.8 and b is 5.6 this is the base main reason and biggest customer he is c and how he have able to negotiate higher discounts so that he is getting more discounts and additional discount he is getting his 8 rupees next this is reflected the contribution generated per case next sales in one case to customer generate 10 contribution versus sale of one case b can generate 18 contribution this is huge impact of profitability this is we are compared b and c where profit generated per case is customer c is the lowest contribution at 6.93 the company may review <coughs> may review here <coughs> next term. however care must be taken not to lose the customer c due to competitors because he is the one customer who is purchasing more quantity next term. d d customer d he is a least profitable even though customer a is less quantity but least profitable person is customer d total customers in terms of sale value the customer rank third but rank was in case of value third and getting profit was fourth However, customer not profitable because of the following reasons. What is the reason? He is getting discount rate of seven point two as provided customers each case sold after discount eighteen per case and generate contribution per case only fourteen rupees. And we will compare that and compare that B when customer B his eighteen cases eighteen rupees per case this discount policy may need to reviewed. So for this discount policy will be reviewed. then one scenario where such high discount may be justified where customer d supplies the product that it manufactures at a discount rate 
to maybe this person d is sister concern sister concern that way he is getting more discount than b therefore at parent company overall level of higher discount rate for lower volume customer b may be justifiable next for customer that provides 11 percent of volume the number of site visits doing so who is providing 11 percent and customer we will now comparing with cost comparisons they provide the some cost and we are calculate the amount and for that amount we are providing the analysis who is the high cost i a visitors who is high ordering uh, who is having delivery high and we will see that who is having who is having less and we will provide the answer accordingly now customer c gives 56 percent volume had 16 visits and customer b has 12 visits only b has less visits and he is volume he is also different volume is less in b case and c has more value but visits are also increasing more this indicates customer d also small customers require more visit than regular customers therefore site visit cost will be higher why the reason he is getting low profit means he is getting more site visits so for site visits he is getting site cost reason of high holding of by customer analyzer for example one possible reason could be customer d requires case of customized of its production maybe one reason will be customized product this may require more site visits by customers personally so when you have a customized product is providing then it is required more attractive more interaction with the customer is required so that we are visiting the site next due to resolve due to the extra work involved in the company may wishes to charge higher sale prices for the case customized for customer d if it is a customer d is customized then customer charges uh, site with this cost will be equal so in another case another scenario it may choose the charge the customer at a fixed rate for each site with this it is better if you charge for variable then it will be high increase if you charge the fixed even though more visits the cost will be less next customer that provides 11 value of 11% of value number of orders what are the orders was possible here here c customer c customer giving 56 value per person and he is ordering 35 orders and customer b is only 18 orders so we will uh, it is better to tell that even to he is a large customer even to he is a large customer order processing cost was increasing higher for customer d and the company may review the ordering schedule for this customers and find out the reason for the customers for example customer d he is an agreement if it is a agreement we will see the agreement why the incurring so much of delivery cost we will see the why incurring for example if you are in agreement with the company and to provide just in time just in time means what we require whenever he required whenever he required he will not maintain the stock that is the result and they will provide the company for providing flexibility procurement to customer d for this convenience it pass and sometime order cost by the customer will be higher selling price or lower discounts was there next 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 car driver will be again volume number of deliveries of customer d we will see the customer delivery and revised delivery schedules for that and is there any agreement and we will tell that conveniently higher selling price will be increased and lower discounts were provided when the cost is increasingly we will when our resources is using we must charge for our resources next customer a he is a small customer even though he is a small customer he is a total sale value was a 6% only but however his contribution is 27% and profit will be 22.25 and discount here reason for he is lower discount than other customers because of lower discount we are getting more profit from a and compared to contribution was 27 percent contribution to 10 rupees firm and here the biggest customer he is a c possible reason for lower discounts may be he is a small player may have lesser bargaining power when he is a lower small player he is have lesser bargaining power as per michael portal michael portal five forces and power to compare and he it may wishes to provide more favorable discounts terms in this party however since customer b and c much larger customers they are getting the more benefits customer he should not impact the company adversely in the long run for example get more order from customer a the company gives 10 percent of discount to the party consequently profitability of customer a will decrease then if you are a more um, that let's say customer a 
प्लेसेस यूज आर आर सो ड्यू टू विच देर कैपेसिटी कॉन्स्टेंट विद इन द कंपनी सो इफ द कंपनी ये कॉन्स्टेंट वाज इंक्रीज देन ई विल आर्डर मोर आर आर सो देन सेल्स टू कस्टमर बी एंड सी कॉरेंट लार्ज कस्टमर्स मे बी इम्पैक्टेड दिस कुड बी इफ यू गिव द मोर डिस्काउंट टू अदर कस्टमर अदर कस्टमर then our retaining customer will adversely affect adversely affect adversely in terms of lot of sales of customers and last for business relationship if we are providing for new customers for huge discounts for whole customers you are giving less discount and even though they are purchasing large value then they will get demotivated and they will get our business relationship will loss therefore care consideration should be taken by giving extending the discounts to improve sales from customers a and as regard to product handling cost as each customer is currently charging 2.5% and company if it is feasible apply activity based costing technique to find out this can be allocated based on the cost reward for each customer let us say packing cost before shipment is part of product handling cost if customer b requires a special packing for if any person is required for special packing then charge for that products that amounts and higher get the higher packing cost as as compared to others this cost can be recouped from customer b through higher selling prices this is question number 5 and now we will see the question number 6 what is there in question number 6 for question number 6 um question number 6666 come on come on yaar hmm question number 6 first we will see the what is the requirement what is the requirement requirement prepare the customer wise profitability statement okay overall profitability also overall profitability statement of bookmark llp next recommend the strategy what is the strategy is required to calculate next we will see the question in question for fifth one sixth one bookmark llp is publishing it is a publishing company okay what is their stated operations very recently it is started new person it is a new person and here here they provide the information relating to information and it has it has three distributors and who is the three distributor per mgh awly so customer profitability statement was the Mm, what the table was km particular and per mgh what wly if you want total you can take total no problem next customer profitability statement and overall profitability statements also asked here see the question yaar question was profitability and overall sorry overall profitability profitability overall so we require particular and three column and total column also required also required okay next what we will see three persons sorry uh, here here three persons okay what they provide information required uh, provided information we will see for they provided the sales units 1950 1250 okay sale price was provided grass 250 250 250 okay sales unit was provided and for sale prices was provided from that payment term drive that is 3 to 10 net of 30 it is what is meant by this what is meant by this means if this means they provide the credit period of 30 days credit period of 30 days if you paid within 10 days within 10 days then we will get the 3% discount 3% discount on sale price 3% discount on sale price so we have discount for per and mgh they do not have any discount and wly they have discount then we will see they are paid within 10 days or not if they paid within 10 days they will get the discount okay next sales return was 0.5 from sale price we will deduct that amount so 2 lakh uh, 250 into 1000 that is 2 lakh 50 will be sales value sales value and 250 minus 0.5 we will get the sales return we will get the net sales and from that net sales we will deduct the cash discount this is the discount payment term discount so we will deduct the cash discount then we will get the final net proceeds so final net proceeds next okay in order to get market share per and wr has been extended credit term to avail the discount if payment is made within 10 days so 
here customer MGS does not have bargaining power so he is not have any particular curriculum without any benefit availing the discount earlier so bet they have made within 10 days so we will provide the discount so so we have sales 2 lakh 50 minus sales returns and after that net sales after that cash discount for providing two customers we will get the net proceeds next process what is the percentage we will take for discount so three percent and three percent we will take on net sales net sales net sales means sales minus sales returns and sales returns we will provide the cash discounts okay next on cost of rent variable cost they are providing the variable cost okay what are the variable cost here net sales through customers net sales what is the net sales we are got already net sales so from that net sales we will calculate from that what is the net sales we are got after that discount after the sales return we will get the net sales now we are providing the variable cost as variable cost as 1 that is variable cost after that we will get the contribution from that we will deduct the contribution next allocated expenses allocated expenses they are providing the order taking processing and expected for orders if they are providing for based on orders we provided the orders and we provided the orders how much orders is there based on that orders we will calculate so for here here if you see the question mm, sale units okay so order taking order taking what are the cost driver uh, will be to 300 cost driver will be 300 and 300 okay here only they provide see cost driver cost driver 300 4 300 into 4 300 into 2 and 300 into 15 we will get the uh, order cost that is order cost order taking processing time we will be get next expected rush driver 250 into 1 250 into 5 we will get the rush order cost next delivery cost 850 800 80 into 100 8000 80 into 50 we will get the delivery cost next sales return processing so we have sales return they provided above we have provided above for that we are incurring the cost so 150 into 1 150 into 8 we will get the sales return processing cost and billing cost 50 into 450 into 250 into 15 we have cost we get the billing cost next customer visits 800 into 1 800 into 5 and we will get the cost and inventory cost carrying cost they provided directly 10 into 1000 10 into 9050 10 into 19 so we will get all from this all calculation we will get the total sorry come on here we will get the all variable cost and from that above we are calculated uh, sales for minus um, sales return minus discount net proceeds we will get the um, after that we will get discount variable cost and after that we will allocate this expenditure from that we will get the total profit from that we will get the total profit after the profit we will see the percentage after the profit we will see the percentage based on profit uh, we will allocate we will analyze the customer statement with the high volume with the higher profit we have more cost and who care we are charging cost or not why the, we are charging the cost is there any agreement that we will see that now so strategies means strategies require means when we have on more cost we will do something we will do something based on our cover customer behavior that is the strategy we will provide see let's see the answers question number six one answer question number six answer will be provided that Mm, question number six uh, answer mm, here see let's see firstly we will calculate the sale proceeds from that sale proceeds we are calculated in question itself what is their sales we will take the gross amount from that we will take the return sales return and net sales we will get the net sales cash discount from cash discount percentage how much is three percent they are provided who for who is paying within 10 days that two persons was paid per and w l so seven thousand two lakhs forty eight thousand seven fifty into three person we will get the seven thousand four sixty two we will take cash discount on net sales so they provided three 
divided by 10 net of 30 net of 30 so what is the other meaning within 30 days within 30 days if with the power the credit of 30 days if you paid within 10 days within 10 days then on net sales you will get the 3 percent discount that is the meaning of 3 by 10 net 30 so we will calculate the discount of 3 percent next net proceeds we will get the net proceeds final collection versus original sales so for this 2,41,000 288 is the final one and here that uh, 241,288 divided by 250 will get the 97 percentage this is the related to net proceeds sale proceeds next we have variable cost we will deduct that variable cost directly from this variable cost we will deduct and after that uh, allocated expenses is there allocated expenses we will calculate it. already we are calculated directly so this is the allocated cost we are calculated into into whatever we have calculated now for that we will calculate it so we will see the answer here itself what is they provided for this see let's see the answer net proceed we are calculated variable cost and after that we are deducting this order cost sales return billing cost assignable cost assignable cost distribution and we will get the total cost net profit and here net profit we will get and after that we will see the percentage we will see the percentage who is the highest percentage a yeah, 34 that is b person is 34 what is the value we will see the value is, volume is we will see the grass profit, grass sales here. Grass sales is two lakh fifty, and grass sales is two lakh thirty seven. Grass sales is three lakh twelve thousand eight five hundred. So even though WLY his grass sales is high, but we are getting less profit, less profit. But here the MGH sales is less, MGH sales is less, and we are getting more profit from him, more profit from him. Here see, let's see. For C, M yeah here no okay here and here so if we that profit is getting more in case of mg8 but sale value is less what is the reason behind this because we are not providing he is not any sales returns he is not have any cash discount because of that we are getting the more profit from mgh but where has per and wly we are providing that they are sales returns and cash discount because of that we are getting less profit from that person so we will analyze that and we will provide the strategies for that next we will see the strategies what is the strategies we will provide so for that customer strategy see customer strategy it can be seen that book market bookmark llp has overall profit will be one lakh one lakh twelve thousand six hundred that is 15 percent of sale while performance is good the firm management has to analyze customer wise profitability who is the customers we have three customers that is uh, per mgh wly here m wly is the large customer because he has large volumes however in table one we will see it has sales returns of 10 percent which unusually large compared to other customers he is purchasing more and he is returning more and we will we will want to provide the strategy also so that what is the reason we will investigate why the returns are so much large quantity so much of large quantity and there could be a communication gap between the firm and wly because of he is ordering one item and we are sending one item that is the communication gap is there because of that communication gap we may get the uh, returns so that we will investigate what is the reason for that and then we will get conformity when you are sending the goods we will must confirm so there is possible to non-conforming non-conforming the goods returns so that we are getting the results next only 87 percent of original sales is being collected and root cause of problems is to be identified and rectified we require to identify and rectify that is the this will reduce the sales return processing cost next wly and in other case many rush orders was providing he is providing many rush orders maybe he is working for just in time and he is ordering only when he has a less when he has not have quality quantity then we will provide that take the large quantity here take the large quantity darling then if you take the large quantity then you will get the best we will suggest that answer also so many are orders we will get the cost here using the cartel and uh, when you are want immediately they will charge more here more here so that 
you are getting more cost in order to deliver wl by for repeatedly placing it rush orders bookmark llp can charge customer for shipping such orders beyond threshold number of orders so what is the strategy if you order for five orders for example five orders or two orders after that two orders you will get charged so free deliveries will be provided some threshold then only they will order more quantity next wly place of 15 orders for 1250 units comparatively per hand fg they are only four orders two orders so he is ordering more orders for that approximately 10,000 units each wly has requested to place fewer orders so what we will tell for dulling take the large quantity that is better for order if you have a large quantity then you must store your products then we will gain both the persons what is the best we will save our customer employee time and delivery cost and so and so so and so optimize the ordering cost next being the large customer wly has five sale visits for bookmark so and another person he is only other two customers price is 800 rupees so very costly at same time wly his yielding is less profit he getting less profit and visiting his more so what we can do xyz llp reassess if resources can be reallocated to other two more profitable customers then they may encourage for more sales from higher yielding customers next since wly seems to need more handling hold hand holding in terms of more sales visits as well as high rush orders bookmark llp may suggest if it want to discontinue or reduce business alternatively if reassign the resources towards existing new customers then it will get better profitability better profitability next however wly can be migrated to higher profitability bookmark when need not to lose out market share next customer mj who is a person uh, uh, not providing uh, sales returns and not providing discounts and we have more profitable yield 34 percent also in terms of advanced line and dictionary order it is the smallest to three it is the smallest to three bookmark llp can assess if it can be extend some discounts in order to encourage so we need to provide discount for that uh, person and we need to encourage to encourage we will provide the discounts and currently customer mgh does not get any discounts he is not getting any discounts so next bookmark llp can assign more sales visits to customer per and mj to encourage them purchase more as well as provide high quality customer services because we are getting more profit from these two persons and so we will provide the service to that person only then we will get the more interaction with them and we will get the more profit then we will have whatever we have next question number um, i think uh, now we have completed six one no so uh, question number eight i think so mm, let me see eight not question number seven okay sorry okay question number c first we will think what is required what is required for that we will answer we evaluate customer profitability so we require to customer profitability statement we require to produce customer profitability statement next i recommend steps to be taken to improve profitability to less profitable customer who is having less profitable customer why the profit is less we will identify that for the reasons and for that after that reason we will analyze the what we can do what we can do what is delivery cost will decrease or provide threshold limit that all the points will be come next list down the list down the service organization for which customer profitability analysis is useful customer profitability analysis is useful for service organization which service organization that is like a financial institutions hospitals professionals like auditing and accounting firms hospitals and health care and logistics of freight companies next explain specific benefits of customer profitability analysis benefits are mostly two benefits what it will help it will help for whom it will help suppliers for identifying the customers of eroding who is providing overall profitability and which customer is contributing to it who is providing more profitable it will help for supplier to identify that person and it will help basis of constructive dialogues between buyer and seller to improve the margins it has two benefits it will help the supplier to identify the customers who is providing more profits from overall profitability 
and it will construct a constructive dialogue between buyer and seller to improve the margins this is the profitability and two questions was completed already that is list of services was financial institution hospital hospital services professional services hospital and health care logistic and fighter and benefits are help suppliers to identify the customer and help to provide basis for constructive dialogue and we need to provide these two questions answer for this question we need to provide a statement and from that statement we will provide the profitability for that statement we require to see the question now what is there in question they provided they provided golden east limited is hub manufacturing company doing business through wholesalers and retailers so it has wholesalers and retailers the company sorry we will get cancel the answer mm. it will get the average cost per hub is 60 rupees so 60 rupees average cost and list price will be 1000 rupees list price will be 1000 rupees and average cost will be 600 list price will be 1000 rupees okay uh, now what we will see customers and at discount of 25 percent of listed price on order of above 200 units who is ordering above 200 percent he will get 25 percent discount and who is ordering less than 200 units he will get 20 percent discount okay for this discounts we have discounts what we have got from list price thousand rupees okay and discounts we got discount percentages okay next discount is based on who is the hub number of hubs purchase orders okay next here the two all two of its wholesaler customer a and b and two of its retailers x y jo x y and we require to provide customer profitability statement means we require to provide each person so we are creating the tabular form particular a b c d a b c sorry a b h x uh, sorry 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 yeah. a b x y a b x y a b was wholesaler x y was retailers okay we have come the tabular form and we have the got the information of listed price and discounts for discounts percentage we have from whom the percentage is there for 25 whom and 20 whom we will based on orders next profitability this export opportunity to increase the profitability for the customer the relevant data exporting to the last year was given below okay what is the information was provided number of purchase orders 50 65 230 270 and we have number of hubs purchase order purchase order 300 500 300 so so here both mm, here see both hubs are sold based on that we will get the discount so for this where is their hubs who is purchase who is purchase the order is more than 200 so these two persons a and b so they will get the 25 percent discounts and for the, who is having less than this is these two persons have less than so they will get the 20 percent discount now we will get the net sale prices what is the net sale price for a b x a b was thousand minus 25 that is 35 percent that is 750 for x and y sale price will be uh, thousand minus 20 20 percent that is 800 rupees okay next number of visit to customer place 10 15 25 22 so here for um, this customer we are going more visits we are visiting more times more times next more visits next number of speed deliveries 5 15 50 65 5 15 50 65 okay now what we have provided activity provided so so we have the activities we have the activities order processing cost for this we will the cost drivers that is 1300 into thus will be multiplied next visiting hours visiting hours will be visits visits into cost per visits so number of visits will be there for this we will multiply with the next ordinary deliveries ordinary deliveries means ordinary delivery into cost of per delivery so here two types of delivery is there one is ordinary delivery and another one is speed delivery so we will multiply we will get the cost so what we got we got the sale value 
and discount value and net sales net proceeds and we have cost that is 600 rupees something we have 600 rupees is the cost 600 rupees is the cost and for that for that we will get the and expenditure here expenditure here so we got the profitability statement we got the profitability statement so net proceeds minus cost of sales 600 rupees cost of sales cost per hubs we have cost per hubs how we will get the cost per hubs that is number of purchase orders that is 550 50 this two if you multiply this two we will get the total hubs total hubs to be sold that is 50 into 500 units will be 25,000 25,000 into sale value 25,000 into this 600 this 600 for this two multiplication we will get the cost of sale that is profitability statement was completed now we will see the answer we will see the answer question number uh, seven mm -hmm. hello question number seven yes we are calculated but we need to see the working note not working note uh, yes customer visits net sale previous we will calculate it. we will calculate it. from this we required ah uh, from here we will calculate this first they provided the number of purchase order and hubs we will multiply it. in we already explained in question we will multiply it. from this multiplication sorry from this multiplication we will get the total value from this total value if you see they provided cost was 600 600 into 25,000 we will get whatever the amount we have cost of sale we will get next for this we will get the sale value sale into sale we will get the net proceeds from sale we have discounts 2% is 25% 2% is 20% why 25% why 20% their quantity was less than less than 200 their quantity was more than 200 quantities then net sale proceeds price will we get net proceeds will be 750 into 25,000 7 next to 90,000 into 90,500 into 750 net proceeds we will get and from this and for this we will get the cost of sale that is into 600 we will get the sales so we will cut the sales minus variable cost now we require note here what they provided uh, that uh, note was related to this discount so this discount so with the discount 25 percent in case of above 200 units and 20 percent in case of less than 200 units so both a and b more than 200 units so that we got the 25 percent discount and in case of a and b get discount 25 percent x and y get 25 percent per 20 percent next we will get the cost allocatable cost administration we are cal calculated here this will calculated in question itself based on that cost drivers we will calculate this will take all will be taken for customer profitability is taking in independently independently so that so that we will calculate here sale proceeds from refer table one we will get cost of sales and that here we will got this one and we will get the profit and we will see the profit percentage and per profitability per profitability this one and who is the person sorry who is the person have more profitable who is the person who have more profitable here we will see 3 lakh 16 7 lakh 25 34 so from a we will getting more profit the who is now we will see here itself mm, okay we see profit was net profit was more in case of a and here quantity has more in in this case only next step in case of 30 25 a having quantity 19500 and in this both cases in this both cases they have their values and here they provided that amount so and from this we have the profits and we, when we see when we see the this amount sir, that is per unit basis per unit basis and we provided the total cost we is incurring more cost will be 152 in case of a we incurring more cost for that person sir. so as per percentages we will provide next now answer will be analysis will be analysis from above calculations above calculation evaluation of customer profitability evaluation of customer profitability sorry average profit for hub average profit for hub will be 11 114.2 sales of all concerned customer are profitable so they have what are the quantity and they based on that they we are getting profit so sales to customer a and b who are wholesale buyers yield 
average profits will be they provide average profits and customer y x will be y will be profit here we have normal only because in other cases when in we see in last cases when volume is high they getting less profits when volume is low getting low profits but here we have both concurrently because high value high profit so so no matter where go wide so next here the yield below average profit so next therefore it can be concluded that sell wholesaler buyers are more profitable than retail buyers it is common only here because they will buy more quantity then that when you are buying more quantity we will get the more profit from there retail customer they do not buy more next in terms of units how Hold sold sales A B and seventy two percent was covering that to two wholesalers only. Therefore, Golden East seems to have profitable business. However, analysis to improve profitability from sale to retailer customers like customer X and Y would enable Golden East to improve its all over time bottom line. Next recommendations. What are we recommend? Stay. We require to recommend on X and Y who is the retail person. Year profitability of retail customers X and Y referring to table major portion as in marketable administration because of their cost we are not getting more profit from them breaking down breaking down this into various costs various costs what are the costs we have provided what are the cost drivers we have from individual cost drivers we will provide the percentages and who is incurring more cost we is incurring less cost and we will provide the strategy for them and order process total. Six one purchase orders by A to sales sixty one thousand eight hundred hops as residues of four customers is the more person and in case of customer X who is the retail person thirty seven percent in case of to buy nine thousand two hundred so he is rising more percentage customer Y rising forty four percent that by thirteen percent where balance is nineteen percent is required to A and B. Therefore, retail customers X and Y are raising proportionality for more purchases orders. So they are orders are more as compared to wholesale. So process the orders golden has as incurred to order processing cost because of high scale. While nature of sales retail may provide entails much small lots. So what they can do, they will purchase small lots only. That the reason they are ordering more orders. That the reason we are getting order cost. So what we can say that uh, to provide that minimum large quantity will be maintained fewer minimum large quantity will be maintained and lower processing cost will be charged if you purchase uh, less than this uh, then we will charge cost then they will purchase more than that only next customer visits cost here customer visit cost market cost incurred by company in provide support understanding the customer needs so to understand customer needs they will provide the customer visiting cost here a with get getting 72 visits and x getting 25 visits and 22 visits in case of y even though they are a retail customer they are getting more visits than with the large customer they have and they have lot ending from the company so understand the reasons many visits why we are going for many visits to customers and either many reasons the sales are not much has wholesale customers therefore analyze why we are going for many visits is there any agreement and is there any alternative and what is the indicator any improvement is there any improvement is there without so many customers which may provide for online facility FAQ facility this type of strategies we will provide next ordering deliveries out of that 470 order deliveries for customers 175 will be x 200 was delivery even though they are less uh, small customer they are ordering more deliveries so for that uh, with the we incur ordering cost there this will reduce the resource required man making delivery there will be reduced cost as well next uh, minimum quantity they will provide the minimum quantity facility if you purchase this person this much of quantity then you will not charge any order cost next to speed delivery sometimes they are getting speed delivery speed delivery means we will incur more cost for incurring more cost we will recover the same portion of cost when we are incurring more we will require to require recover from that person's only next list of services list of services organization with customer profitability analysis list of services was financial institutions financial institutions means what like banks 
ఇన్సూరెన్స్ కంపెనీస్ నెక్స్ట్ హాస్పిటాలిటీ సర్వీసెస్ లైక్ హోటల్స్ ట్రావెల్ ఏజెంట్స్ టూర్ ఆపరేటర్స్ నెక్స్ట్ ప్రొఫెషనల్ సర్వీసెస్ లైక్ ఆడిటింగ్ అకౌంటింగ్ ఫామ్ లా ఫార్మ్స్ కన్సల్టెన్సీ ఫార్మ్స్ లైక్ ఐటీ కన్సల్టెన్సీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ కన్సల్టెన్సీ నెక్స్ట్ హాస్పిటల్స్ అండ్ హెల్త్ కేర్ ప్రొవైడర్స్ నెక్స్ట్ లాజిస్టిక్స్ అండ్ ఫ్లైట్ కంపెనీస్ దట్ ట్రాన్స్పోర్ట్ గూడ్స్ టు వేరియస్ డెస్టినేషన్స్ నెక్స్ట్ బెనిఫిట్స్ ఆఫ్ కస్టమర్ ప్రాఫిటబిలిటీ హిట్ విల్ హెల్ప్ వాట్ వీ ఆర్ డిస్కస్ ఇన్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ హెల్ప్ హూ ఫర్మ్ హూ supplier why to identify which customer is eroding overall profitability and which customer is contributing to it next it can help to provide basis of constructive dialogue between buyer and seller to improve our margin it will improve our margin next question question number 8 mm, question number 8 we will see in next class here